Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Monday, August 8, 2022. The markets are pushing higher this morning as we start the week. We are trading up above uh, Friday's high and not far above or not far from the high of last week. So we're getting a strong start to this week. That's what we'll be looking at this morning. Uh, in Discover, let me go ahead and grab all four instruments here. The setup that we're going to be looking at this morning is based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we are pushing higher. I'm going to go into the opening filters library. I'm going to go to the opening area. This top option, open above prior day high. I'm going to hit equals next to that. And then I'm going to go into the indicators library. I'm going to say that the prior session, which is Friday, closed below the 200 day simple moving average. I'm only going to use one moving average for this one because I want to keep as many samples as possible. And then I'm going to go into the calendar library and I'm going to say that today is Monday. So I can either grab that from right here or click on Monday from the act of today, which will tell you all that it is true within this library for today's session. So I just clicked on that. You can see it's been added to the test here. Now I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when it is Monday and you are open, opening above the prior day high and the prior day closed below a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 38 samples in the S&P. We've got 34 in the NASDAQ, 36 in the Dow, 49 in the Russell. Win rates on these are a little mixed. You've got S&P coming in at 55% of these have closed above the opening print. For the NASDAQ, it's 50%. For the Dow, 64%. And for the Russell, 55%. If we look at the average moves, average win in the S&P is larger than the average loss. That is also the case here in the NASDAQ. That is the case in the Dow and in the Russell as well. So all four of these have larger average wins compared to their average losses. Win rates on them are a bit mixed with the Dow being the strongest of the group at 64%. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.